Hey there, welcome to the Tranquil Shop. I've been thinking about this channel recently, like I was up until 2 a.m. last night thinking about this channel, and how a lot of people have really been enjoying the videos of me crocheting and talking about crocheting. I had a little bit of a time where I wasn't really happy with this channel. Um, I wasn't into creating the videos, um, and I kind of kept going back and forth between creating videos for specific projects and creating weekly vlogs. I just realized I talk with my hands and the camera is a little bit too close to the chair, so every single time that I move my hands, it also moves the camera. Sorry. But with so many people who have enjoyed the channel and have enjoyed me talking about crocheting, I thought maybe that I would try again. I haven't been doing any videos within the past couple of months, um, but I thought maybe I would try again, do a little bit more of a weekly studio vlog sort of format, and just talk about what I am currently working on rather than like a specific project because with the specific project videos, I have to have the enthusiasm to record all of that, finish the project, then edit the video and have all of this done within a week, let's say, so that the next video for the channel can go up. Whereas with weekly vlogs, it's, it's just the week, so you're done in a week because the whole point is going through the week. I'm currently working on sunflower granny squares. I, I know this will be like hard to see. Um, I have a lot of yellow yarn that is either from a discontinued brand that doesn't exist anymore or I don't have the yarn label for and therefore I can't buy it again because I don't even know what the brand is. I have like five or six skeins of just random yellow yarn that I can't ever buy again and so I figured I would compile these into sunflower granny squares and then I'd create something out of those granny squares. I'm thinking right now those little like bags, I don't know how to explain them to you. They're kind of round-ish. Uh, then I'm also thinking maybe perhaps um, more square sort of tote bags. I'm thinking maybe a pencil case or maybe like a little tiny just two squares back to back sort of bag. I'm also thinking if I have enough for it, maybe a cardigan of some sort. Uh, I have a lot of different projects that I can use these granny squares for, and I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of granny squares. So um, I also think it would be an interesting project, like if other people really enjoy them to the fact that I require more granny squares than what I'm currently going to be making. I could always just buy yellow yarn and create more granny squares, right? So that is what I'm currently working on. I'm doing the brown insides. I know this is a very dark brown, almost black, like it looks kind of the same as my shirt on camera. Um, this is the color coffee in Red Heart Super Saver. I'm creating the brown insides and then after I am done with this, entire skein worth of yarn. I'm going to be putting the yellow around the circle and then um, seeing how much yellow I have left after that, how many more granny squares I need to do. Technically speaking, I have two or three more skeins of this brown, um, but I don't want to use all of the skeins and then realize I didn't need that many, so I'm just doing, like I know I'm going to, at the very least, use the entirety of this scheme. So that is what I am doing. It's currently Wednesday, so this is not like a full week video. We're only getting Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but I thought, might as well start right now, do like half a week, because I know myself and I know if I wait until Monday to start doing this video, I'm gonna forget. And all of a sudden it's gonna be a month later and I'm gonna go, oh, right, I had that whole like idea. Um, 
So we're gonna start it right now. I'm gonna keep crocheting some more of these circles and uh, let's see how far I can get in three days. So despite the fact that recently I have been trying to stick to like at 5 o'clock, I stop crocheting, stop working, stop thinking about the shop. Um, today and yesterday, I've been up until really early in the morning, like right now, thinking about the shop and things to do. Like I talked about last night, the whole concept of this video is I remembered how many people really enjoy enjoy this channel and want to see more of it and how I could still give them the content that they want while also being a little bit more low-key and not as stressful for me. But another thing is tonight, it is currently 1.09 in the morning and I am watching marketing videos on YouTube, taking notes here and there, um, and just sort of getting ideas for social media marketing and anything else that I can do, I'm generally pretty bad at it. <laughs> like every social media account that I've had ever, even if it's like personal or it's for the shop or it's one of my hobbies that I have on the side, none of them have blown up or have a lot of followers. And I think largely that just has to do with the fact that I am a very awkward person. I like I see other people's posts and I like them or I think something's interesting and maybe I will think in my head something to say to respond to them. Like the other day I saw somebody, I can't remember the character's name right now and it's gonna drive me crazy, but um, I saw somebody who crocheted one of the characters from Dragon Age. In my head, I was thinking about this comment on how Obviously, they really like Dragon Age. I really like Dragon Age. Um, the, the whole reason why the shop is called the Tranquil Shop is a reference to the video game Dragon Age. And thinking about what I'm going to say in this comment and like what is their reaction going to be to this comment and just have that general like both of us talking about this video game and talking about how much we love it and stuff. And then I didn't post the comment because all of a sudden I got too worried about whether or not I looked like a dork on the internet. I got worried about people finding out why I named the Tranquil Shop the Tranquil Shop, me getting in trouble for it, despite the fact that the, the shop itself does not have any references to Dragon Age. And I try to make sure that those two are very different for like copyright reasons. Um, but still, like, personally, all my friends know that I named it the Tranquil Shop to annoy them and make them go, really? Why? Why would you reference that? And I just basically got too awkward to post it, uh, and that's what I do with every single time that I post anything online ever is I overthink it, and then a good 90% of the time, I don't post it. So I'm watching videos sort of as like instruction of like, these are things that you should do in an attempt that it's going to give me a false sense of confidence and it's going to um, make me think that like, oh, it's okay to do this because somebody else told me to do it in a how-to instructional video thing. And I know it's bad because it's one o'clock in the morning and I really like should be going to bed instead of doing all this. But I don't know, I just have the enthusiasm for it right now. Okay, so I have been crocheting for a hot second already today, but I have run out of brown yarn. This is all that I have left. Not like all, all that I have left, all that I have left in this skein. Um, I believe this was like a half skein when I started. And I have, I don't really have enough hands for all of this and my hair getting in my face. I have 34, 
of those, oh God, circles. Yes. Um, so now I'm going to empty out my hands so I can pick up other things with the same hands as though I own any other hands. I'm gonna take this yarn, just one of the random yellow yarns that I have that I don't have a label for or anything, and I am going to create the petals of the sunflower. So it will look like this when I'm done with all of those. I do know on this camera, the middle looks very dark. Uh, in real life, it is kind of a dark brown, but it's not, like on camera, it looks black. And I promise you, it is not black, it is dark brown. Um, so I'm gonna do that to all 34 circles. And then um, after that, we'll make them into the squares and then sew those squares together into the actual items. Um, and then if I need more circles, that's when we'll grab another skein of brown and start doing that. But we are done with the first third, let's say, of this project. Another thing I think we should also talk about is last night and my marketing lookup thingamabob that I was doing until 2 a.m. last night. Wow. So there were a few tips and tricks on like social media and stuff that I am trying to implement now uh, and just kind of be aware of the fact that that is something that I need to do on social media. A lot of it was just like interacting with your audience, which kind of makes sense. And um, putting yourself in spaces where your audience is going to be, not in a marketing sort of way of like buy our stuff, but just in a friendly... Um, one of the people that I watched used somebody taking a picture of a lake, for example, because he had like an outdoor clothing line or something like that. And he said, um, you know, not saying, hey, great picture, make sure you go on our store and buy our stuff, but just saying, wow, I love this lake picture. That's it. That's all you need to do. Um, and so just like interacting with people, which I feel like is a problem for me, because um, I oftentimes, as I said last night, I will write out posts and comments and then I'll get nervous about it and I'll delete it and never end up posting it. So trying to make that a little bit more mundane and not something to be anxious about. And that's just something that I have to slowly work up as I go and more like a personal problem than anything else. I don't know. Um, but then another thing, one of the later videos that I watched closer to one and two in the morning was talking about audiences and niches and um, how to make sure that like people can't just go to somewhere else and get what you, what I am selling. Um, but like try to find the reason why they would choose you rather than choosing any other competitor. And that's a little bit more difficult um, because I feel like I have, like, I just want to crochet things. Everything that I put in the store is something that I have crocheted, I've liked. Um, I have looked at the numbers and said, yes, this is a price that I am comfortable putting it at and making people pay. Because um, as we've talked before in the past, if it ends up being too expensive, I won't put it in the store, even though I've worked really hard on it, because I don't feel comfortable with making people pay really big prices if I don't think that I'm worth it. But I think more I need to focus on who I want buying my things and what they want out of the shop. The baby blankets, for example, because I know they're in the background of this video and you've been staring at them this entire time. Um, I don't really have an interest towards making things for babies. It's just not a space that I necessarily care for. I'm not somebody who wants children later on in life. I know that's getting like a little bit more personal than I think you're really expecting. Um, but I have no interest. 
I hope you can't hear that in the background that that just turned on because it's right next to the camera. Fun. I have no interest in joining those sorts of spaces and those communities because I have no interest in it in my personal life. And so I don't want to have to push my way through a community that I don't really care about and interact with those sorts of people and that sort of content to sell a product that I don't particularly care for. And so it's things like baby items that I have been making occasionally in the past because it's something like a lot of people um, look for supposedly online and you know everybody's there's a lot of people out there who are having children and then they want a baby blanket and you know stuff like that. I just feel like oftentimes I am pushed in that direction because it seems like crochet is something childish and something that is for babies uh, and I don't think so. Um, I don't think it necessarily has to be for children, even if it is something like, let's not do that one because that's not going to show up well on camera, even if it is something like a stuffed animal or a toy, it's not necessarily for children. And so I, I think my target audience is honestly maybe a little bit more teenager or young adult, somebody a little bit closer to my age range. I'm honestly a little bit like, I'm, I'm turning 25 in uh, a little bit more than a week. I'm getting more into the like adult age, but definitely more like teenage, young adult, likes cute things, I think. And I think the most important thing is for my audience to find happiness in what I am making, thinking that it's cute. And I think mostly like, I don't know, sitting down, Maybe they're, let's say if we're doing like a teenager working on schoolwork, um, working on something that is taking a lot of time, maybe a little bit of stress, and they look over and they see my, again, bat sitting there right next to them on their desk or on a nearby bookshelf or whatever, and they go, yeah. And then they continue on, like get re-enthusiastic for just existing in the world, I guess. Um, and going like, there are cute things in the world and therefore I should continue working on my homework. I don't know if that makes sense, but I still have to work on it a little bit, but I just think that that is a little bit more closer to the sort of person audience that I should work for rather than just like making things that I think is fun and then putting it on the store and then not really knowing how to market it to people or how to make people know that this is out there and available and they can have in their own homes. So it's a lot to think about. Um, right now I'm going to crochet a little bit more and then I'm going to think about that later tonight, kind of figure that out off camera, but I am working towards it. Uh, the things that I honestly should have worked towards years ago when I started the shop, but you know, that's okay. There is never a point in the future where you can't work on things that you were supposed to work on in the past, you know? I could have said that a little bit more, like, motivationally. So five o'clock comes, you know, the time I should put down crocheting. I did. I put down the crocheting. Yay! I watched a couple of TikToks, and then I started thinking about the website, and I was messing around with things on the website, uh, and now it's 8.30 and I just got done changing a couple of things, like in the grand scheme of things. I didn't change that much about the website, um, but I was certainly working on it from like 6 to 8, perhaps. 
there was dinner somewhere in between there, but you know, uh, I worked on it for a little bit. And now I'm crocheting in bed. I'm just really in the mood for crocheting right now, obviously. So yeah, I changed a couple of things on the website based on the videos that I was watching last night. There was one thing that I thought I was going to do on the website that I decided I didn't like the way that it looked. I changed a couple like categories and navigation sort of things. I think most of the work that I need to get done is less website-y and more social media and how I use social media. So that's not something that I can do right now. Um, listen, I do one scheduled post a day. I'm not doing any more than that beyond like scrolling social media, but I don't know. So now I'm about to watch some other people's YouTube channels. Speaking of YouTube, I got another subscriber today. I have not posted in months, which is why I said I feel bad because so many people enjoy my channel. I'm getting subscribers fairly commonly um, that I can tell that people enjoy what I'm putting out but I haven't posted in three months so I hope that this I don't want to say I hope this makes you guys happy because that kind of makes it sound like I'm doing it entirely for you and not like I'm hating the entire process the entire time um, I'm not but I still hope that like this pops up in your list of people you're subscribed to, your subscriptions, and you're like, oh my gosh, yes, the Trango Shop. I'm so excited. tired, but I have been working through this uh, just because I knew I was close to the end of this skein. I have this much left and that is not enough to create another sunflower, so we're done with that one. Um, it's currently 12.07. We're past midnight again, but that skein, which was probably around a full one, um, at the very least 90% of a skein, but it looked pretty full. Um, that one did 16 sunflowers. Again, let me just remind you, I did all of these today. Plus some of the, I did like eight of the middle brown pieces. That's a lot. Anyway, it is, uh, after midnight. I am tired. So I'm gonna go to bed. We have tomorrow as well for this video, and then uh, the week is over. Tomorrow's Friday, so I'm um, planning not to work on anything over the weekend. Have myself a little break. So let's see how much more that we can get done tomorrow. But I already feel like we've done a lot of progress so far in this video, and I am quite proud of myself. Okay, here's a problem. I have this much left to go in this one, but I only have this much yarn left. So, I can't crochet and cross my fingers at the same time or bite my nails or whatever I, you want to do. So I'm asking you, can you do that for me right now and we will hope that it works and that I get enough to cover this left of an area? All right? I should probably talk through this so it's not just like us sitting here awkwardly waiting until I finish this, but I don't, I'm not that very good at talking while I crochet, for one. For two, uh, I don't know what to say, though I've been thinking about that recently, making videos that's like a crochet with me or a, um, just like, I don't know, talking, or maybe I should do it with music, but then how long 
is it going to be? How much music do I have to put in? If I do for an hour in each song, that's my alarm telling me it's five o'clock and you should stop working, but I'm so close to finishing this that I'm not. Um, say we do a crochet with me for an hour and each song is three minutes. Oh God, let's just say five, cause let's be real here. I don't want to do math. That means you have to do whatever five, 30 divided by five is, um, in order to 30 divided by five, really? How about 60 divided by five? In order to, um, fill that time up with music in the background and then like, that's a lot of songs. It's hard to concentrate on what I'm saying and finish this at the same time. But don't worry, you don't have to keep your fingers crossed or keep biting your nails or whatever you're doing in order to help me because we did it, we finished it with this much left. That was a close one. Okay, so today I am actually going to stop at five and not crochet anymore. Uh, I've been doing a lot of crochet recently, which is good, but I also need to like figure out how to take breaks and um, chill out a little bit, let's say. So since in that last clip you saw my alarm went off, it is now after five o'clock. I am going to be finished for the day. I did eight sunflowers today with this yarn. Um, I really like this yarn, but I think these sunflowers are a little bit dark but I don't know, I'm kind of into them compared to these sunflowers so you can see. Um, and then I also have some more yarn in the future that's going to be a little bit lighter than this one is as well. So just a variety of different sunflowers. With this eight that I've done today, that means we are at a total of 28, nope, 24 sunflowers. That is a lot that we've done out of the, what did I say, 34 or 36 that I have started the middles with. Um, I do know that we are going to definitely need to make some more middles because I have three or four more skeins of yarn to get through. But that is a problem for future me for next week. Speaking of next week, I'm going to end this vlog here, so thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed watching me crochet sunflowers basically the entire time. Um, next week we're going to have another studio vlog kind of similar to this where I'm crocheting more sunflowers. Maybe we'll finish that and start working on a different project. I'm not sure yet when I'm going to debut these sunflowers on the website. I'm kind of thinking spring because like flowers you know but i'm not sure if i am going to want to keep these just in the background until then or if i'm going to get a little bit too excited or maybe a little i don't know tired of just keeping these all to myself and i'm going to want to debut them early so um i hope you stick around to see some of that Make sure you check out our website, thetranquilshop.com, for what we are currently selling. Right now it's Halloween stuff, so um, I know we didn't show any Halloween stuff, but that is currently the time of the year, what we are majorly focused on. And um, yeah, I hope to see you next time.